it's crazy to really think about, you know, I'm from Northeast Louisiana, from a town of 200 people, a little town called Baskin. I grew up on the back of a horse. And to think that I can write music that people on the other side of the world can connect to and relate to is kind of mind boggling. When I think about everything that has happened since August 1st, 2011, when I moved to Nashville in a little camper trailer, um, I think every little thing and every big thing I have done has led me to this moment. I wouldn't skip past any of it. But I truly feel like time was a part of my story, and um, I'm okay with that because I feel like I've lived more life. I've got more experiences in my back pocket to be able to connect with people, and that's my job, is to be able to do that. I like that intro. Not too shabby, I'll take it. I've always known that I was gonna do this. I mean, even at nine years old, when my parents took me to the Grand Ole Opry for the first time, I just knew, my, my, my gut feeling, I had like a weird sense of peace about knowing that this is it. Like I was gonna write music, I was gonna tell stories, and whether anybody listened to them or not, I didn't know, but I just, I felt at home. And writing music is the thing that makes me feel free. And I gotta do it no matter if anybody listens or not, and I'm just thankful that that people want to listen. If I had to do it all over again, there's nothing that I there's nothing that I would change because um, I feel like it all has kind of lined up. You know, I don't feel like I would be me without all the good times and the bad times. But there are definitely times where I feel like, dang, if I knew it was going to be this hard. I don't know if, like if I didn't have that naive spirit that I did at 19 years old when I moved to town, um, if I'd known it was gonna be this hard, I don't know if I would've done it. So it's, there, it's a, a, there's a beauty in being naive and not knowing how hard it's gonna be. But I have fought tooth and nail, and at the end of the day, if you want something in life, then you just keep your head down and your blinders on and go get the damn thing.